when it comes to directing actors and performances, you still need to take that live action approach. So here's some like behind the scenes of Ace doing some crazy mocap. Um, and what's really cool is that he's able to do all these movements. I'm able to see it on the next end skeleton and I can give him direction and I can see what that skeleton's gonna look like as opposed to waiting for the data to come through and then come in with nasty surprises. So sometimes his elbow would intersect. So I was like, hey, can you move your elbow a bit higher? Here, we, you know, we do some action scenes and clearly I've watched way too much John Wick. Um, but this was great where I got to like, me and Ace got to collaborate to figure out how we could do these action scenes and how do we like create specific animations that we that we could reuse in Unreal um, and how to do weapon handling because we knew that we had a machine gun, we knew we had a gun, a uh, pistol, we knew we had some melee weapons. But this was like, this was like a, from a director's point of view, this is a dream because I literally have a sandbox to do what I want. And again, like you can see, even the XN viewport is real time. So this is what I mean, like real time has enabled me as a filmmaker to really like come up with the most insane, crazy ideas and not be so limited. I also did, like I said earlier, we did the very first bunch of mocap was done during pandemic. And that was done um, remotely with Gabriella being in Florida. As you can see there here, she's using the Manus gloves. Um, and again, like her screen would be split up with the XN's view. Sometimes she'll show me the live link in, in Unreal to see how it's looking on, on the skeleton. But most of the time, like, you know, I'll be directing her and she'll set her whole room out, lay it out based on the floor plan I'll give her. And we'll just be directing like for like a good couple of hours, we'll do the whole session, uh, do various takes. And then like the next day, there's a Dropbox folder for all of the exported processed mocap ready to go. I mean, it's a great way of working. And also it's a really great time for motion capture artists to not just be mocap artists, but they can charge as a mocap studio because you essentially you are a mocap studio if you're doing all the processing and everything. So it's it's a great commercial time for a mocap artist to, to kind of like work anywhere they want and provide that service. Well, I think it's fantastic. So this is what, this is what a Zoom, um, screen looks like when you're directing mocap remotely. So you can see here, um, I have my shot list, which is my very detailed shot list with the assigned shot numbers that reflect the same shot numbers in Unreal. I've got the viewport, XN's viewport from Gabriella's side. And here's my floor plan so that Gabriella can adjust her room to kind of spatially map it out as close as she can. So that, she, you know, when she's moving from one chair to the other chair, it's as close approximation we have in Unreal. 